Good morning, everyone. It is a new day here on the Far Far Range, and I have just woken up. Uh, you know, I've got some bedhead going on, a little cow lick and everything, but you know, nobody's perfect in the mornings. Uh, but anyway, we've got a whole new day of adventures ahead of us, and I think we are going to go ahead and use that beloved slime key that we got last episode. But first, I want to join this lovely elite. 7Z Rewards Club because I, I got a little email about it from uh, somebody else here on the ranch and I guess this is just kind of like a, a neat little rancher's club of some sort. Uh, Rooster Weather Vane, I'm not really sure what that is, but just by joining I get a reward. So 750 sounds like a pretty good deal. I'm gonna go ahead and purchase that now. Oh, and I got a little achievement. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it says one person at a time and I've moved up to initiate rank Moving on to Pioneer 1, where I get a fence upgrade. Uh, I'm not really sure about these rewards, so let's go figure out what we just got. Close that out and return to the ranch. Okay, so I've got a new achievement. Uh, the weather vane, is that something that I'm supposed to put down? Because I don't see it in my inventory. Maybe it says something in the Slimepedia, perhaps? No, no, no. We'll do the ranch, maybe? Hmm. Maybe I just gotta wander around and I'll, I'll find it somewhere. Oh, maybe it's that! Maybe it's that? Rooster Weather Vane? That looks about right. I guess I got a new decoration for my ranch. Oh, very cool. Okay. Now I know that that is a, a thing. I should check that more regularly and see if I can move up in the ranks there. Uh, but before we go out on our adventure, let's do some housekeeping. Some ranch keeping here. Uh, hopefully we'll find some new slimes as well. Looks like the heartbeats are growing just fine. Uh, and you know what? I might upgrade that later. Depends on how much money we get. Um, but if we find some new slimes, I might put them out there just to expand on this area a little bit so not, not all the slimes are crammed into one space. I did also add these new, uh, plort feeder- or slime feeders. So what you do is you take your favorite food, take the slime's favorite food, and throw it in there, and you can change how fast or how slow you want the feeder to feed the food to them, so that way uh, you don't want to feed them too fast, but you don't want to feed them too slow. It depends on how many slimes you've got in there too, because if you've got a lot, kind of like what I do here, you want to feed them regularly. And so I think medium speed is just about right. If I only had a couple of these guys in there, I'd probably slow it down a little bit so they don't completely blow through the stash of food. Uh, but let's collect these plorts, grab some more money. Why are these falling on the ground? I don't know. <laughs> Backpack problems, am I right? Okay, and we will give some heartbeats to the feeder as well for our lovely rock slimes, because this is their favorite food. Uh, and is there anything we can collect here? Just a little bit. Ooh, right in, right in my face there. Alright, let's cash these in. I do want to upgrade my vac, so we'll do that right now, and then we'll head out on our adventure. Okay, let's head over here and see what upgrades we got. We've got air drive, uh, which consumes 20% less energy, but produces double the fun. I also was looking over this one, sounds interesting. Uh, these enhanced nano storage cells throw caution to the wind and allow you to cram 40 units into each vac tank. So, uh, definitely want to do this air drive. How much was this? So, a thousand. I'm gonna have to spend a thousand. We're gonna get the air drive as well as the Tank Booster Mark II, so that we can store more stuff in our backpack on our adventure here. Alright you guys, I know last episode I left you all hanging as to which slime door I was going to open with my slime key, and I have decided to open this door over here, the one that was in the cave. Uh, so I'm not sure if this was the best choice, but it sounds good enough to me. We will always have another opportunity for more slime keys. And I think I wanna, I wanna dive in and go this way. So let's find out what's behind this door. Oh, and I got an achievement. Open says me. Da -da -da -da. Here we go, guys. Into the wild blue yonder. Oh man, I'm getting all these achievements popping up. The Indigo Quarry, all that remains of a mining project that quickly went bust. Oh man, Indigo Quarry. Well, I guess if all these stones were any indication, it does look like a quarry. Very pretty area. Uh, it doesn't look like it goes anywhere, so let's go this way. Oh. Hello, little pinky. 
Some carrots over here. <gasps> oh, what are those? Pink Boom Largo. Oh, okay, so Boom Largo. It's Boom Slimes. Uh, boom Slimes, what do they like? They like to eat meat. Okay, um, they look a little dangerous. With a name like Boom. Must be, right? Oh, oh, hello! Okay, so little explosive fellas. Do you have a face? Oh, you do have a face. <laughs> let's, uh, let's collect some of these guys. They look pretty cool. Oh, that is a, that's a big one. I don't wanna be in the radius when he blows up. What's over here? It's like some pogo fruits. Very cool. Okay, let's read about these guys really quick. Got some slimes. Uh, boom slimes. Okay, so their favorite food is the briar hen. Oh, see, I thought the I thought the tabbies liked the briar hens. I guess I'm wrong. Uh, boom slimes are often heard before they're seen. So I just have to be careful not to stand too close to them when they go boom. That seems pretty understandable to me. Oh, hello. Oh, I should have uh, brought more water with me. Oh, I hope we don't run into too many tars here. Okay, I had just enough water to clear that out, so maybe we should move on from this area. Excuse you, sir. Hopefully we don't run into too many tars. <gasps> We've got another Gordo, and this time it's a rock Gordo. Oh good, he takes veggies, because <laughs> I am getting kind of exhausted trying to run around and collect chickens. So uh, we've got plenty of veggies back at the ranch. We'll keep him in mind and perhaps come back to him a little bit later. Ooh, a map node. Well, I don't, wanna, I don't know if I should open the map node just yet. I wanted to go around and like maybe find all of them first. So I'm gonna leave that there. That's good to know. Let's see what else we've got over here. Got a new area. Okay, okay. Looking cool. Got some more booms over here. Uh, let's go this way. Another crate. Oh, sorry, little buddy. Uh, and he just ate that cute berry. Cool. Uh, Okay, looks pretty standard. Looks pretty standard over here, nothing crazy. So far, the only thing that we've really found are these different... No. Are some boom slimes. Perhaps I can Largo them with my rock slimes. Maximize my earnings. Ooh, what's over here? Ooh, a nice pretty spring. Whoa. What is that? What is that? What is that? What is that? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Puddle slime! Oh, come here, you. Keep one in your boot and always stay cool, but it's weird. Okay, let's read about him. Okay, he doesn't have a favorite food, probably because he's just made of water. Various species of slime that live in freshwater pools found on the range. These slimes don't eat fruits, veggies, or meat like other slimes. Instead, puddle slimes absorb water into their bodies while they sit on the surface of the pool. Puddle slimes are exceptionally shy and will not produce plorts if they are in close proximity to more than three other slimes. Oh, okay then. There we go. <laughs> you little little rock can hang out in there. I'll take these plorts. I don't know how much these are worth. Uh, I better suck up some more water because this is what I was actually looking for when we were running into those tar slimes. Cool, and there's another little treasure pod. I need to be able to unlock those. <laughs> Haven't gotten the ability to do that just yet. Here's a crate. Anything interesting? Oh, what is that? Oka, oka! A tubular mix of colorful spots. Okay, uh, I guess we'll make a garden for that since I don't know how rare those are. Let's continue on. Uh oh, can I make that? Oh, what is that over there? Oh, I definitely want to try and make the jump now. All right, guys. Uh, here we go. Wish me luck. Oh, I just made it. Cool. Yay. <laughs> what are these? Rad slime. Oh, hello. Rad slimes. I'm trying to I'm trying to do a thing here. Let's go over to where it's a little less dangerous. Okay. Oh, they uh, they're making me sick here. I'm getting radiation sickness. Um. Well, I do want to bring you back. If I have Okay, I'm gonna get rid of these plorts, because if I have puddles, I assume I can get their plorts somehow. And I'm gonna take this little rad back with me. Rad back in my back. Get in my belly. Get in my belly and don't make me sick, please. I would like to not have slime cancer. Okay, so we can go this way, or we can go that way. This looks like maybe just a little hill or something. Oh, there's a path. 
Oh! There is another rock gordo! Oh my gosh, okay, so we've got two rock gordos that we gotta keep in mind. Uh, and they eat veggies, so we're gonna need a lot of veggies. Uh, perhaps we will save that for another time. Let's continue on and keep checking out what this indigo quarry has to offer. Now I kind of wish I unlocked the map so I can remember. Okay, I'm just gonna have to remember it's over here. Over this way, in this area. Um, the first one was just in the cave when we started, so... We will pop those next time. But for now, let's continue on. Oh, hello! Oh, you are not- you are not happy. You are not happy. Uh... Okay, okay, okay. Didn't mean to disturb you all. Uh, just ignore me. Disregard the little rancher. <laughs> Got some skinny dipping uh, slimes over here. Okay, and this chest. And there's never really anything in these chests, it seems like. Except for the occasional vegetable. We may or may not have. Let's see what's this way. We'll go in here. Ooh. Oh my. Is this radiation? <gasps> oh my gosh, we've got another Gordo! A rad Gordo! Am I gonna get poisoned? How fast do I get poisoned? Ooh, that is that is a potent Gordo. What do you eat? Veggies as well. Oh man. We've got all these veggie eaters. We're gonna have to start making some plots. Some extra plots of food. Good thing I opened that ranch expansion, so we can definitely do that. Let's go up this wood footpath here and see if there's anything of interest. What's this way? Oh! Oh! Okay. So this is the original cave that I started in, but I don't want to... I don't want to jump down because I don't know if I can get back up here without going around. Because there's the map node, so yeah, this is definitely where I started. We're gonna keep going, continue forward, uh, but it's good to know that that's there. So I hear a tar. I hear a tar. I hear a tar. Where are you at? Where are you at? Get out of here. I'm harassing those poor little slimes. <laughs> They're so grunty. <laughs> Alright, you know what? You guys are on your own. Excuse you. Oh, jeepers! <laughs> Gotta watch where I'm going! <laughs> Anything of interest? Looks like a bunch of carrots. Okay, so can I go anything over here? No. Looks like this is the final path here. Oh, I was wrong. There's a path going that way. Ooh! Teleporter. Okay, uh, that looks like my ranch, so... I guess that's how I'm gonna get out of here. What's up here? Treasure pod and a path. Going this way. Sparkly ground! I wish I had floors like this in my house. Wow, these guys look so cool! The boom phosphors or phosphor booms. Oh, those are so neat looking! Uh, looks pretty standard. Does this lead somewhere interesting? Oh! A door! Another door! Okay. Now we are back to three doors again, and no keys. So we're gonna have to pop those gordos. Hopefully they drop a key and not a teleporter. But, uh, yeah, okay. So, that looks like the end of the area, I assume, unless I go over there. What is over there? Can I make it over there? Hello, little ones! Ooh, there's a whole path over here. Oh! Is this... Okay, so this just loops back around. This was that area that I didn't want to fall down to. Okay. Alright, guys, I think... I think we've reached our limit of the indigo quarry here. So let's make our way back and go through that teleporter. I think it'll take us back to the ranch. Oh, there it is. Okay. Found it! Alright, here we go! <gasps> okay, cool. So this is... That's where that goes. I was wondering about this little teleporter machine. Alright, so that goes from the indigo quarry one way. I can't go back through that way. I'll have to walk all the way back through just to get to that area again. Okay, and now we've got some oka oka, some puddle slimes, and some rad slimes. So let's let's deal with the puddle slimes first. Um, hmm. Problem, we don't have enough 
National Law here. Got the heartbeats growing. I don't want to get rid of the Oka Oka. Maybe I can make a garden over here. How much is a garden? 250. Okay, I have just enough for that. We will start growing some Oka Oka here. Uh, let me check that out really quick. Favored by the rad slime. Oh, that's perfect. It's a good thing I went and grabbed those little rad slimes. All right, so those are going to start growing. I remember, there's this little plot back here that I think might just be perfect uh, for a pond. How much is a pond? Four fifty. Okay, we're going to need some more money, so let's let's do that. Uh, all right, I'm going to go ahead and collect some plorts. Turn them in and get some money so that we can build this pond for our lovely puddle slimes. I will be right back. Okay guys, I went and turned in some plorts, earned some money, and I think we have enough now to set these guys up with a pond. The puddle slimes, that is. 450, let's do it. Oh, how cute. Alright. Alright little guys, hopefully this is far away enough from the other slimes. They make an adorable noise! Oh my gosh, these are already my favorite. Oh, look at them! Are they are they kissing? Are they dancing? They're so cute. They look like little Saturns. All right, guys. Happy living in the corner over here. I'll try to keep away all the other slimes. Uh, speaking of which, we've got Boom and Rad that we need to do something with here. Um, and I'm curious. What if I just, you know, what if I just make them into a Largo? Because they're both pretty volatile, dangerous slimes here. Uh, but I want to make sure that the that the corral is set up properly first. All right, we're definitely gonna need some high walls. 350, I might need to go get some more money here. Let's go! Rock lords. So, oh, look at how much these are. Oh my gosh, what is that? What is this one? Uh, I don't think we found whatever that is, but that's the boom. It's 59, this this must be the uh, puddle plorts. 62, I don't know how often they make plorts. And this, I assume, is the rad plort as well. Those are worth a lot of money, so I'm glad I grabbed these slimes. Okay, hopefully that's enough for what we're doing here. Actually, I think I only need my air net for now. Oh, and maybe a collector. We might need that because I don't want to go in there <laughs> to try and collect stuff. Okay, let's put the air net. Do we have enough for a collector? We do, we just barely have enough. Perfect. Okay guys, who's going in first? Let's do our couple booms that we collected. And we'll go ahead and put these rad slimes. And then I guess I just need to feed them something so they can plort for me. Plort for me, do you guys eat meat? The booms eat meat. Okay, come here chicken. Need to make a sacrifice. Oh, I've got some carrots here, even better. You guys eat those. Make a couple of poopies. Grab those real quick. Oh man, oh man, that hurt. Ah! Should I just let him eat it? Okay. You eat that. Oh! Look at that. A rad boom. A boom rad. Boom rad Largo. Now the same can go for you. Perfecto! Okay, now I just need a couple forts from them. Actually, can they eat carrots now that I've merged them? They can, right? Oh, perfect. Okay, cool. Now you guys, you guys eat those plorts. Go on, go on, eat it. Eat it! Yes! Just what I was trying to do. Eat it. Eat it. Eat, it. eat the hen. <laughs> okay, we've got one more little boom in there. Waiting for this green guy to eat it. Perhaps. Oh, I'm gonna get blown up on. This is so dangerous, guys. Living on the edge. Okay, okay, got the boom port. Gonna feed it to you, little fella. Yay, now we've got five boom rad largos and a collector so that I don't have to walk in there ever again. Uh, let's redeem a couple of these. And uh, yeah, all right. Well, I think that was a pretty good haul for today. Go ahead and turn these in. Come on. Get some extra moolah here. 163. Okay, well, 
hopefully over time they'll start producing some more. You know what? I think that was a pretty good adventure for today. Uh, we will go ahead and stop it there. We've got a couple other objectives we gotta do now because we found those rock gordos as well as the rad gordo. So we're gonna have to collect a ton of vegetables. I might even put some in my silo. Um, and then we'll go back out and try and pop those gordos. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Thank you so much for watching. And uh, yeah, if you have any more feedback or things that you want me to do in Slime Rancher in my series, let me know in the comments below. And if I'm totally missing something, uh, try not to spoil it too bad for me. But if there's a, you know, some suggestions or hints you can give me that I, you think I'd benefit from, I will definitely take your suggestions. Uh, and I also wanted to merge these guys with uh, another slime, but I'm not sure which one I want to do yet, because I think the, the rad and the boom go well together. I don't know if I'd want them to be merged with these little guys just yet, uh, but perhaps. What, what do you think is a good Largo to go with the rocks? Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. My little lovely phosphor flabby tabbies are so happy to see you guys. And uh, we will catch you all next time. Bye, everybody!